In the heart of our growing urban landscapes, a challenge looms large. Congestion, pollution and unorganized urban sprawl. The rapidly growing commutation challenges worsen with an overburdened bus transit. A saturated railway network. And a metro service that's confined to the peripheries of the capital. With residents already gasping for fresh air and Delhi NCR set to become the most populous mega region in the world. The question arises, what is the solution to make a commuter's life comfortable and easy? Amid the chaos, there's a beacon of hope, that is RRTS. NCRTC, the organization that is implementing RRTS, has put an unprecedented focus on multimodal integration of transit systems. This will not only improve access to education, employment and healthcare opportunities, but will also enable balanced and sustainable development in the region. RRTS stations are seamlessly integrated with the existing railway stations, metro stations, bus depots, ISBTs and airports. A case in point, constructed adjacent to Anand Vihar metro station, RRTS station will allow commuters easy access to both the pink and blue line as well as the ISBT. Thanks to well-planned foot over bridges, commuters will also seamlessly move toward the Anand Vihar railway station on one side and the Kaushambi bus adda on the other. Creation of this new age infrastructure, which is called RRTS, is part of the Prime Minister's National Gati Shakti Master Plan and will help in bringing in ease of doing business and ease of living to the citizens of National Capital Region. This has been observed across the world when the public transport system, especially the rail-based ones, when they are safe, reliable, affordable and punctual. Lot of uh, modal shift takes place from private vehicles to such systems. Such modal shift and change in the centers of economic activity will help significantly decongest Delhi also. It will reduce the congestion on the roads and in the long term significantly reduce the pollution. The three priority RRTS corridors will converge at Sarai Kali Khan and be interoperable enabling commuters to move from one corridor to another without changing trains. The 82-kilometer-long Delhi-Ghaziabad Merat corridor will start at Sarai Kali Khan and will have a total of 16 RRTS stations ending at Modipuram, Merat. Further, Merat Metro services will also be provided on the RRTS infrastructure with nine additional stations. All such initiatives for seamless multimodal integration of public transit systems will lead to creation of a vast network of networks. I'm very happy that uh, Delhi Merit RRTS is reaching a critical stage in completion. It's multimodal connectivity with Metro in Delhi and in NCR region, with buses, with other modes of transport, would provide a seamless movement for passengers within NCR region and would set new standards in India. By encouraging a modal shift towards public transit, we are collectively reducing our carbon footprint. It's a step towards sustainable urban living and a healthier environment for generations to come.